Hello and welcome to Jurassic Reviews. On this episode, we'll be taking a look at a new figure from Mattel. That figure is the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus. Before we begin, here's a look at the box it comes in. Here's the front. Here's the sides. Just love seeing that Jurassic Park 3 logo. And here's the back, where you see the logo again and a shot from the dinosaur's brief moment in the film. This Ceratosaurus stands about 6 inches tall and is 13 inches long when in a neutral pose. As mentioned before, this is part of the Hammond collection, so it has better detail, better paint, and articulation than the standard line, which also has a Ceratosaurus that has had a few repaints. I think this figure is vastly superior to that one, and right up there with the Hammond collection T-Rex as one of the best figures Mattel has released so far. First, let's start with the sculpt. Detail is pretty solid throughout the body, with little scales and folds in the skin visible. The best part, though, is the head sculpt. Details here are really good and capture the Jurassic Park 3 Ceratosaurus fairly well. It just has a lot of character to it, and looks good in just about every angle. I also want to point out this figure might have slightly larger feet, but it doesn't bother me as much as some of the other Mattel figures for some reason. I don't think these are too, too big. Now let's move on to the paint. The majority of the figure is painted a beige color with some brown stripes. The fingernail and toenails are painted a dark brown. There is also this transition to more red paint that starts around the torso and continues to the head. The eyes are painted a dark orange with black pupils and the horn is beige. The teeth are painted white and the inside of the mouth including the tongue is painted pink. I think it's a pretty good paint job and it looks close enough for me to its movie counterpart. Moving on to the articulation, there's a decent amount here. The tail can move, though I'd say it's rather limited as there's only one joint here, and it has a bendy wire near the end. The legs have four joints, and overall this figure stands pretty well, and much better than the regular Ceratosaurus figure. The arms have two joints, and unfortunately the wrists cannot be moved. I would have liked to see another point of articulation there. There's two points around the neck and head, allowing for a good amount of posability. And the top of the head and bottom jaw can be opened. Before I give my rating for this figure, here's a comparison with other figures. Here it is with a Kenner 4 inch human and a Mattel 3 3 quarter scale human. Here it is with a Velociraptor. Here it is with a Baryonyx. Here it is with a T-Rex. And finally, here it is with an Apatosaurus. For a rating out of 10, I give this one a 9.5. I think this is the best in the Hammond collection so far next to the T-Rex. The sculpt is great, as well as the paint. The articulation is pretty good, though I would like to see articulation at the wrist. Compared to the Raptor and the T-Rex in this collection, I don't think the feet are as oversized as those. I think this is a pretty solid representation of the Jurassic Park 3 Ceratosaurus. 
and if you are collecting this line, you should definitely pick it up. I recommend it. And that does it for the Mattel Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.